So will we have enough grass on the farm to do until then? My name is Edward O'Reardon and I'm based at the Chagas Beef Research Centre at Grange, County Mead. Today is the 7th of April and it's timely to have a look at our grassland management and also management of our stock. As a general rule we'd be saying that by the 7th of April we'd like to have whatever silage area we have on the farm, if it's going to be grazed we'd like to see it grazed by now. So by now all the silage area that could be grazed has been grazed. It will have received its slurry, it will have received its nitrogen this year in the form of protected urea and the P and K levels that go out are put out to reflect the actual soil test results. So as of now the silage area has been grazed, it's set aside and available for cutting at the end of May. We now have moved across onto the grazing area and as a general rule that's about half the farm. We are stocked on this grazing area at about 2.5 uh, tons of live weight per hectare. That means that on a daily basis each hectare of ground, ground needs to supply 50 kilograms of dry matter per hectare per day because that's the actual demand that the herd have. Now we know that we will not have that growth rate until late April, early May. So will we have enough grass on the farm to do until then? The answer is yes. How do we know? We know because we have taken pasture covers. We currently have a cover of roughly 1,000 kilograms of dry matter per hectare on the grazing block. We know the feed demand is 50, so dividing 1,000 by 50 gives us 20 days. So we have 20 days grass ahead of us and we're happy that all things being equal, we will have enough grass on the farm to take us through to the end of the month at which point grass growth rates will be equal to or greater than herd demand and surplus grass will build up.